So it's no secret that getting good results with little action cameras like the GoPro Hero 12 can be a bit tricky at times. So if you want to get good results with the GoPro Hero 12 Black, there are some key settings that you need to know and that you need to set on your camera in order to get those good results. Today's video, I'm going to run through those and all of the sample footage in today's video was filmed using the GoPro Hero 12 Black. I took it to a small downtown area at nighttime and I walked around there for a while with the camera. It happened to be a rainy night also. There's a lot of neat reflections off the bricks, the sidewalk and the road there, which kind of like that kind of highlights how well this camera can do with the right settings in low light. So let's get started on those best settings. So first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna power on the GoPro Hero 12 Black. And we're gonna make sure we're in video mode and we're gonna go into video settings right here. We're gonna click on the three icons to the right here. Now, the first thing I recommend selecting here is standard because standard is gonna give us the right combination of options for the very best low light results. For the aspect ratio, I recommend eight by seven because it's gonna give you that full sensor readout and it's gonna give you that almost square footage that you can then reframe later on, however you want to on a 16 by nine timeline. And then I definitely recommend doing the 5.3K. You wanna have the very highest resolution to get the very best results here. When it comes to frame rate, recommend doing 24 frames per second. If you're in a country where it should be 25 frames per second, then I'd recommend doing that. But I'm in the United States, so I'm gonna do 24. For the lens, there's only one option available with the 8x7, and that is wide, and you wanna stick with wide. Key setting here, hypersmooth, you want to have that turned off. Now you might ask if I have hypersmooth off, how am I gonna stabilize my footage later on? So what I recommend is I recommend using a gimbal. And there are three different gimbals that I recommend. One of them is a lower cost, more budget one. One of them is mid-range and one is higher end. For the sample footage I filmed for this video, I did use the lower end one, and then I stabilized the footage a bit more later on in GyroFlow. GyroFlow is free software, and you can easily stabilize GoPro footage in there and a lot of other cameras as well. If you own Real Study, you also can use Real Study. It's a $99 GoPro app. You can use that to stabilize with the gyro data as well. But I use the free program, it's open source, GyroFlow, and it works great. And if you have a good enough gimbal, you don't need gyro flow. The footage will be stable enough anyway. For capture, none of these settings apply here. I'm going to skip through those. Key setting for ProTune is you want to adjust that shutter speed to 1 over 48. And that's going to be double the frame rate. And that's going to allow a lot more light into the camera. So in those lower light settings, you're going to get a lot brighter result. And it's going to look a lot better. For white balance... If you're going to grade the footage later on, I recommend native. If you're not, then I recommend setting this to 3200K to 4000K. Anywhere in there, if you do 3200K, it's gonna be a little bit cooler. 4000K will be a little bit warmer. For the ISO min and max, I recommend doing 800 for both of those, unless you're in a really bright urban area, in which case you could do 400 for the min and 400 for the max. Don't recommend going over 800 because the footage is going to quickly get noisy. And it's not going to look good. But on the Hero 12, I found that ISO min and max of 800 gives good results without too much noise and grain. Sharpness, you want to keep this set to low. Color, you want to keep that set to flat if you're going to grade later on. If you're not going to grade later on, then set this to natural. Natural is going to give you great results as well. And the audio doesn't really apply to this. We're talking about the video settings. If you want to have audio from your camera, you can adjust those settings as you want to. Uh, but I usually recommend using an external mic if you want good quality audio. So using this combination of settings is going to give you really good results with the GoPro. But I want to show you one more thing here. And this is going to be if you don't want to use a gimbal and you want to use the GoPro with HyperSmooth on, there is one setting you can adjust, and that is going to be the shutter speed here. So the shutter speed, you want to set this to at least 1 over 192 if you're in 24 frames per second. And what that's going to do is that's going to help prevent that jitter and ghosting in your footage. The shutter speed about 1 over 192 or faster, it has frames that are sharp enough that the footage can be stabilized in camera with HyperSmooth on 
and you're going to get generally good results without that jitter and ghosting. If you want to learn more about what causes jitter and ghosting and how to prevent it, I've linked to a full video above where I go into all the details of that. But to keep it short and simple here, if you set the shutter speed to 1 over 192, and then if you turn hyper smooth on, you're going to get good results in low lighting without needing to use a gimbal. But do take note that a shutter speed of 1 over 192, it's going to let in a lot less light than 1 over 48. And you can see that here, how washed out my footage is because it's daytime right now. But keep that in mind, your footage is not going to look nearly as well lit as it will with 1 over 48. So that is the trade-off. But the best settings are with the gimbal and that shutter speed of 1 over 48. And if you're curious to see how the GoPro Hero 12 performed versus the DJI Osmo Action 4, I've linked to a video at the end of this video that shows the DJI Osmo Action 4 with the same settings and sample footage. So those are the settings that you'll want to key in to get the very best results with the GoPro Hero 12 Black in low lighting. Until we talk again, happy GoProing.